is she and welcome back to my channel if you are new here hey girl hey welcome we do all things beauty hair and lifestyle here on this channel so if you're into any of that sort of content hope that you do your girl a favor and go ahead and join the family we would love to have you so today's video is going to be an office tour i did a quick reel over on instagram of my office that i just completed maybe a couple of weeks ago and this office has been a few weeks in the making um since i transitioned from my full-time corporate career i wanted to make sure i had a really good space office slash studio for content creation that had a few different zones where I can really take some good photos, get some good content, and I absolutely love the way that it turned out. The inspiration from my office was all started with this photo here. I found this photo in Home Goods, and it really just kind of set everything in motion from there. I wanted the office to be light, bright, airy, neutral, and feminine, which is just kind of where I am right now. Even in the way that I dress, everything is just really just kind of very neutral very very much shades of browns and nudes so I'm not really into color I've never really been into black I just wanted this room to feel like a breath of fresh air when you walk in and it so feels like that my house is pretty masculine everything everywhere else is blacks and grays uh, with gold and white that's just kind of the, the theme of my home which I absolutely love it's a more masculine feel though and I wanted this office to be the complete opposite of that no blacks no browns no harsh colors um no harsh or strong colors everything just kind of light and bright and again like a breath of fresh air so absolutely adore the way that it turned out almost everything that i got in my office came from surprise surprise amazon Amazon gets all of my money. So I did create an Amazon storefront um, that had every that features everything that I actually got from Amazon that's in this office and I'm gonna go around and kind of show you and talk about everything. So if you are interested in any of that, please check out that link below in the description box. It helps this channel out greatly. I do earn a small commission. And hey, if you're shopping on Amazon anyway, you might as well go through my storefront. So be sure to check the description box below. Anything that I can find that I can link, I didn't get from like Goodwill or Refurbish, it will be linked below. And again, the majority of the stuff that I have my office deal from Amazon at a very affordable price. So really quick, um, if you are interested, these jeans, these are from Zara. They are their classic mom jeans. I absolutely love these. They are so comfortable and they're ultra high waisted, which girl need right now. And we don't have a baby, we need a little extra, you know, hide that, hide that look good. Um, and then the top is from Amazon. It is just a simple satin mocha top and if you are interested in that that will be linked below as well and the hair is from xrs beauty if you want to save a little coins i will have a discount code below if you are interested in my hair at all so yeah let's start rambling and let's jump right into the room tour so when you first walk into the office you have this clothing rack that i got from amazon i don't necessarily love this particular clothing rack because I find that it's a little bit flimsy. It was only about $59.99 while the other ones were upwards of $100 plus and I was trying to save a little bit of money but um, I think I'm definitely going to get another clothing, clothing rack. This one isn't really metal. It's kind of like a hard plastic um, or like a soft metal. I don't know. It's definitely not very sturdy. It's pretty thin. It's actually pretty flimsy but I did like that it had a little rack here at the bottom where I can place shoes um, and then I also like the space underneath the rack where I can also line up some shoes. I just kind of pulled out a few of my favorites to just line up here. Um, and I also like that it had the pegs on the end where you can hang items, purses, or I just have some of my dust bags just kind of hanging here um, for like purses and shoes that I... Um, just kind of through right here so I do love that I love the pegs on the end I do love the um rack at the bottom now I wanted to get one with that had maybe shelving and a rack across the top but I was afraid that it might be too big for this particular space so I just went with the regular clothing rack and then I actually went and got this shelf um, from Home Depot. It was prefab. I believe this shelf was about eight bucks and then the brackets were about five bucks. I'll also link this shelf below if you are interested. I think they came in like 36 inches, 42 inches. I believe it was like 84 inches, like three different sizes that you can get it. And I just got it in the 42 inch. Um, and then I just kind of put this mounted this up here myself. Then I just have a few boxes and bags from um, that I like to save. Some of these I like to save. Some of them I throw throw away. But the few that I do save, I do uh, I did just kind of throw them up here. And then everything just kind of on the rack is just kind of neutral outfits that I plan on wearing soon. I got some new jeans um and so i just went ahead and threw these on here as well by the way um quick outfit these jeans are from zara the are the classic mom jean and then i'll i'll also link these below and then this kind of mocha satin top i got this one from amazon which i also have in my amazon store 
that will also be linked below. Um, so yeah, I just threw up a few things that I like to kind of easily access right here on this shelf. And then next to it, I have this gorgeous pompous grass. I found this pompous grass on Etsy. I believe this is like a six piece set. Guys, absolutely love this. I've had this for a few months now and it's absolutely beautiful. It looks really, really good. After I sat it out in the sun for a couple of hours, like it's just really held its shape and it still looks really, really good. And then this vase, I actually thrifted. I found this at... um at Goodwill and then I just kind of did the little quick ceramic method with baking soda and whatever color paint you like and I just kind of DIY this little base. It was clear and I made it like just this kind of tan color to go with the rest of the room. Absolutely love this whole little setup. I'll make sure I link the pompous below because a few people have asked me where I get my pompous grass and some of it can be so skimp. I mean Look how fluffy and gorgeous this pompous grass is. So I'll be sure to link the Etsy store below where I actually got this pompous grass. So next, coming around the room, we have the feature wall, which is the wall that you see as soon as you enter the room. I absolutely love it. This is kind of where I started and then everything else played off of there. Um, I have these white and gold shelving. I have these white and gold shelves, which I got from Amazon. These are probably not new to you guys. A lot of people actually have these shelves. But if you are interested, uh, the link is also in my um, office storefront. So, um, again, check the description box. I will directly have these links. I believe they were $69.99. I'm just not quote me on that. But, again, the link will be below. Everything that's on the shelves, how I have them styled, most of this stuff came from Home Goods. I'm going to zoom in and kind of go one by one so you can see everything that I have on here and let you know exactly where I got it from. A few of these items came from Amazon, but a, the, but the majority of them I either shopped my house because I have a lot of little knickknacks around the house or I found them at my local Home Goods. So starting out with this shelf first, because this one is my absolute favorite. I love, absolutely love the way that I style this shelf. Starting with this vase on the top, I found this vase at my local home because I absolutely, it looks like it's diamond and gold. I absolutely love the finish on this and I just threw a, a few pieces of, this isn't pompous, I don't even know what to call these little guys, but I found a nice set off of um, Amazon that had a bunch of different variety of fluffy grass, dried grass, um, and then I just kind of plucked a few of the white pieces out and I stuck it in this um, nice little vase. I love the little open center. It's very modern, very sleek, very chic. I absolutely love this one. Again, I found this at my local home goods and it was $19.99. It wasn't that long ago. Check your local home goods. You may be able to find one like this or one similar to this. And they had this in black and they also had this in like a, um, it wasn't, it's like a pewter. It wasn't quite gray or silver. It was more like this pewter color and that one was really pretty too. It just didn't go with my aesthetic or my vibe. Um, these two I found on Amazon. Again, that very modern aesthetic with the cutout. Very clean, very chic. It's ceramic, very sturdy. These are really, really nice. It came in this set of two, this taller one and this shorter one. I absolutely love both of these and I just kind of styled them together and then I paired it just with this gray um, zest candle I absolutely love the way this smell I got this from Target this is actually um, Joanna Gaines and Chip Gaines their little line and their company I think it's called with Magnolia it's hearth and hand with Magnolia and this is in the scent zest I believe they had three different scents but the zest just smelled really really fresh and I really really love this and then the gray the gray cement I absolutely love that this is cast in gray cement um so I went ahead and just grabbed that and just pop that on the shelf this base is probably one of my absolute favorites it is so heavy this i found at my local home goods as well i kept the tag on it because i absolutely loved it i thought it was so pretty i thought the tag was so pretty these were handcrafted in mexico i actually have a similar base to this it's the same sort of finish it's just a different shape on the opposite shelf i absolutely love this it is so I mean, this thing is rock solid. You can knock somebody out with this. And I just love the shape. I think this shape is just so organic and so pretty and so modern. Um, and so I popped that um, on top of this Basquiat. This John Basquiat um, book that I found on uh, Amazon. If you didn't know, he is an artist. I absolutely love this book. It has some really, really nice, um, a lot of his work in here. And it's really, really nice. I absolutely love that. And again, the book was very neutral. I was kind of looking for white and black, just kind of neutral tone books. Love this book. The next shelf, I 
I love everything on the shelf. I'm gonna say each of these shelves are my favorite, but I absolutely love this. I found this long um, kind of bowl and it's gold on the outside and it's like this cream, um, this cream kind of polished ceramic on the inside. Um, I got that, or glaze, I should say glaze ceramic on the inside. I got that from Home Goods as well. And then I found this little natural wood knot. I actually got this knot off of Amazon. Absolutely love this. I, it was a little more, it's, it's a little expensive for what it is. I mean, it's literally just two wooden knots. Um, and it came in black and then it came in like a stained wood and it kind of came in this kind of beachy light tone wood, which I absolutely love. And I got this for, I believe it was $29.99, but again, everything will be linked below. Like I said, I feel like it's a little bit pricey for just two wooden knots, but then again, maybe it's not. So I want to just kind of bring this up close. I absolutely love this. And I feel like the size is so pretty and perfect. Love this guy. And then at the bottom, I just have this gold. This is actually a trash can that I got from um, Target. But I felt like it was perfect to just kind of fill up the space on this bottom shelf. So that is the shelving unit. And then we're going to kind of make our way over to the other side and then we're gonna just review the other shelf. So over here, same concept again. This painting is from Home Goods, guys. Look how gorgeous. I'm gonna zoom in so you can really get the details of this painting. It is so absolutely beautiful. It is breathtaking. Like the details in it is just so pretty. I absolutely love the gold leafing. I love again the different tones of gray. I don't know if you can see these black just kind of stroke. Um, stroke marks um, with maybe, I don't know, cold pencil maybe. Um, it is on canvas and then it's beautifully framed in this really nice kind of golden frame. And I believe this one again was either 129 or 159, but I absolutely love that painting. Look how gorgeous she is. So starting from the top again, I found this lovely lady off of Amazon. It is a really, really pretty vase um, with a hand. I wish the hand was connected. It's kind of just kind of floating here, so it makes it, it's kind of just floating here, so it makes it a little bit weird, but I absolutely love that. The head is completely open and then the base is closed. That way you can actually put live plants in here. But as you can see, I just have a bunch of dry, just kind of pompous and a, a few little bunny tails. And I'm not sure what these wispier grasses are called, but just, I found this little, dry grass set on Amazon, Jeffy's from Amazon, um, and I just popped, just did like a cute little arrangement in this head and I absolutely love it because it's dry, I don't have to worry, or I don't have to worry about watering it, but if I do want to switch out this dried um, grass, I can always put in real flowers in here and um, sometimes I do do that. I'll do some, some white roses or um, or some lilies. Lilies look really pretty because I feel like when they bloom and they're kind of bloomed all around the face, they're really, really gorgeous. So I definitely would suggest getting this. And it is like a matte ceramic soft touch face. Absolutely love this face. On this shelf, we have the smaller version of that um, Mexican pot that I was showing you on the other side, and it's a different shape. So I just have this on this shelf with this large candle that I got from Home Goods to just kind of set to just kind of set this, set this shelf off. Hey, Daddy. There you go. Oh, I'm filming. You just, you know, come in and barge in here. Wow. Well, oh, no, come oh. on. So we have a special guest that came in and interrupted our filming. Guys. I don't know if you ever been on my channel. Yes, you have. I have. We did a um, Way back. makeup review back, back in the day. Way back. Did a voiceover, so, right? Voiceover. Yeah, yeah. Voiceover. So, so this is Daddy. He's my partner, Nate. You guys have heard me talk about him. Um, are you going to help me show the room off, or are you just coming to? Uh, just coming to say hi. Just come pay okay. Get a quick feel. Okay. And I'm out. All right. All right. So the next shelf we have this gold link chain that I also found at Home Goods. This one was only $9.99, which is really good. Like I was showing you guys that wooden link that I got off of Amazon. That one was $29.99, but I couldn't find any other thick, chunky um links um in Home Goods. They had a lot of different types of links, but they were like maybe the five really skinny ones. So I still went ahead and got that one, even though I found this one as well, and it was only $19.99, and it is gold. And I do like this one because you can kind of mix and match the shape however you want it. You can have like this one on the top, you can kind of lay it out straight, or you can kind of just kind of play with it, configure it, have one on top, two on bottom. You can kind of, you know, make it your own. But I like it like that. And I just have this on top of this YSL and this Chanel book that I got. Both of these books also came from Amazon. 
The next to last shelf, I found these two little planter pots and I don't have any plants in them, but I wanna show you that they have a little hole in the back where you can put plants in it. Um, and then that is closed off on the bottom. But I just love the round shape of, the, of it. And then it came with, you know, two sides in the larger one and the small one. They both have the little planter in the back. So if you wanted to, you know, put something in there, you definitely could. I probably wouldn't do anything live because little, the little vessel is not big at all. It won't fit much water and it won't fit much plants. I'll probably do something dry in there if you were to do anything. But I just, I just thought that was absolutely adorable. Love those. And then I got these body candles. They smell so good. And I never even lit them. Um, but you can just smell it. The fragrance kind of lights up the room. I found them at a, on a shop on Instagram. I'm going to see if I can remember. Because I've had these for some months now. But like an ad popped up. And I was a sucker and I bought them. So I love those body candles. And I have about three more of the little mini ones. They are super, super cute. I'm not going to zoom in on them because I don't Instagram to demonetize me because they are the raw woman's figure. But I absolutely love those. And then the bottom shelf is just some personal stuff where I have you know, my, my degree and a picture of my nephew when he was a newborn and a few other things. So that is this show. So um, this chair I actually found on Amazon as well. I was looking for a cream and gold velvet chair and I wanted one that swivels. And this one, the feet on it is really, really pretty. Um, and then I really, really love the swivel on it. And the chair is not the most comfortable if we're being honest, um, but it is good enough. If you put like just a pillow on the back, you'd be perfectly fine. I think the arms are the perfect height. They go right underneath my desk and I absolutely love it. Um, I'm gonna zoom in on the bottom so you can see the little, the legs. I love the way that the legs are kind of centered here and they kind of sprout out. I think that's very chic and it's very clean. It looks very elegant. I love this chair. Um, and yeah, I love that it swivels in case I need to turn around while I'm filming because usually I film here and I sit here and I do work and I do all my editing and all of that so this is pretty much my background but so panning over to this part of the room this is kind of my little lounge area it was really important to me to have just like a couch somewhere that I can chill somewhere I can sit somewhere I can relax and lounge and I feel like this little couch while I don't necessarily love this couch as far as um the color I feel like it's just it's too yellowy um when it actually came in it's actually really really comfortable and the size is perfect I didn't want anything too um I didn't want anything too big because the space isn't really, really big, but I did want something that was very, very um, cozy and comfortable where I can just kind of sit back, relax, and lounge. Um, and I feel like this really does the trick. This couch is also from Amazon and it was very, very inexpensive. Um, and then these gold throws, I found these on Amazon as well. Um, they're this gold velvet. I really wanted a lot of just kind of texture. I really want a lot of textures in the room. So we have velvets, we have um, just a lot of metallics, we have some fur, we also obviously have pompous, we have some linen. So I just really wanted the room to feel very layered and textured. So I went with a bunch of different textures and I absolutely love these pillows. They're a little gold, they're a little bit gaudy, they're not for everyone, but these came in a few different colors. They had an emerald and like a wine color, but I really, really love these, um, these pillows. Got these from Amazon as well. And then above the couch, I really just wanted to do a nice little gallery wall but I didn't want to make it too personal as far as what was actually up here so I didn't want to do pictures like actual photos but I did find these framed photo sets from Amazon as well and the pictures that's in them actually came in there um so these are two different sets like these two larger ones came in a set with the small guys and then these smaller square ones on the end came in a separate set so there i did find these two these two different sets on amazon and i love the color palette again it's just kind of that neutral taupey um whites and creams and golds and with a little bit of gray and i feel like these go absolutely perfect and then this black is beautiful um sign that's right here i actually um made that so the frame came with this ugly photo that was in it. it actually was green which kind of didn't go with the rest of the theme which i found was odd so i just took that out and just did a quick like little word art and replaced that and put that here and i absolutely love that so yeah this is just my little lounge area and it's really really good for photos i have the mirror here obviously um this is just a, a mirror that i upcycle i've had this mirror for many many years as well it actually was silver and i just did this brushed antique gold over top of it with some cheap gold paint that i found at um michael's and i absolutely love that I also found this nice little tray table from Amazon and I find that it's so perfect if I just want to sit here and I want to edit or if I want to sit here and I want to eat. The top is this really, really nice, pretty, 
The top is this really pretty marble, and then the base was actually black, but I spray painted it gold. You probably can see some of the black. You can probably see some of the black poking through, honestly, because I did like a really quick spray paint job. But I absolutely love this little table. It is so convenient if I want to sit here, if I want to have a drink, again, if I want to read, if I want to edit, if I just want to eat. This is a perfect little table. It's on wheels, so it's easy to kind of just move it about the room as you see fit and as you need it. So good for an arm table. I can even put it here to the side if I want to do like a little armrest. So yeah, this is, um, oop, I actually see some of the, some of the black right here where I didn't get them, I have to repaint that. So yeah, this is just a good, just kind of tray, um, just to kind of have on hand as I'm kind of just sitting and relaxing it, absolutely. And then right under the windowsill, we have these really pretty ottomans. These, these are probably my favorite thing throughout the entire room. I found these on Amazon as well. They are, again, cream and gold, velvet. Cream and gold was the base of everything in this room and I absolutely adore these. I love that they are square and I love the modern legs on them. Uh, if you don't get anything, get these ottomans and these also came in a bunch of different colors and I just styled it with this little cute little book set on top. I got this Magnolia table book from um, Target and then I got that little book of Louis Vuitton from Amazon as well and then the ball on top is actually a raw block of alabaster made in Italy made in Italy that I found at Home Goods. Love this. And then right next to these ottomans and um, closer by the mirror you can see me here. Um, I couldn't stand, I couldn't sit over here because of the light, the way that the light has come through the window. It really just made everything look really, really dark and crazy. So I just pulled the camera off and just kind of brought you guys into the room. Um, so these two vases with the darker pompous, the taller one I got from Target. The smaller one I got from Hongus and it came with the pompous grass in it, the smaller one. The taller one, the pompous grass didn't come with it, but um, I found that that pompous grass at Hobby Lobby. Um, and I think it was like 10 bucks because it was half of all of their dried flat florals and then right next to that I have just this little gold basket with a couple of throws in it that um because I get really really cold so if I'm sitting in here just kind of relaxing or editing I do like to grab a blanket um and then I got the gold basket and I got the gold basket from Target. It is a really, really pretty basket. I absolutely love it. I love the tag on it just because I don't know why. I thought it looked chic, the Project 62. Um, so yeah, and then above this, I just have, and above this, I just have two photos of my sweet boy. He'll probably join us later because he's actually up from his nap in the room making a lot of noise. So I'm probably gonna actually go grab him to close out this video. Um, and then yeah, this is pretty much the room in a nutshell. I'm just gonna kind of take you guys around vlog style, kind of give you a closer up on the art wall. I absolutely love it. Again, it's just very feminine silhouettes of a woman, very soft colors. Um, absolutely love this one, the, the woman's body. And then this one, her lips are so pretty. I absolutely love that. And then just a couple of abstract photos. Oh, and another thing, this rug, I got this faux cowhide rug from, this faux cowhide rug from Amazon as well. And if you look closely, it has some um, gold leaf in it. And I absolutely love that with the spotting. Again, it's just cream and tan and very neutral. And here are the legs on the chair that I was telling you guys about. I'm actually gonna come around so you can actually see the chair. Pull it out. So yeah, this is the chair in its entirety. I absolutely, absolutely love the legs. And again, it swivels, so it's perfect for the space. All right, so baby boy woke up, so I went and grabbed him really quick. But um, yeah, that is it, dolls. That is the full office tour. If you do prefer this type of content, please jump in the comment section and let me know. I really wanna know what you guys are feeling more of. Is it hair? Is it lifestyle? Is it just, you know, fashion hauls, room tours, house tours? um just kind of i know what are you telling them yeah diys whatever it is you guys let me know because i ain't got nothing but time now um so yeah please do not forget to check the description box any and everything that i can find will be listed there and if i can't find something i'll try to find dupes for them as well and have those links as always if you like this video if you think my son is cute I, right please go ahead and subscribe to the channel we would love to have you and before you leave please check out another video i'll probably have it linked here somewhere and i will see you dolls in my next video bye can you say bye bye to mommy's friends say bye to mommy's friends